sure Mitch and Nikolai have been counting their days. Oh, wait a minute! All this video, this entrance video means one thing! Somebody on 4.0! Man, it's not going to be surprising that he's going to be here to my end this Tekken Championship match. After we saw Mitch and failing to take out Sombrero on, on episode 22 of Assault. After we saw him taking out Reginald Vaughn, killing his world systematically taking out Reginald. So Sombrero managed to get away. As you can see, he's still wearing Nick Goldman's beloved Carolers hat there. Like a making total, total insult. And what's this, folks? Looks like Sombrero's for the, the I think this is that new long, you know, long awaited new remix entrance music for Sombreado, made by our own human composers. Dan Oliver and Jim Jim Jackson. Like, great work, fellas. Great interesting for Sombriano. Can't say the same thing about Sombriano the person. This is a, this is a true machine of hatred. Built for the sole purpose to take out anyone who opposes the cruel coalition. Programmed and built and created by Reginald Von Cleaver himself. I honestly guess that it's the dirty work for Gretchen Von Cleaver's work. Or Sombrero, four time underground champion. And believe it or not, this man, this machine here, Sombriato, that he actually, the only man to, to pull the underground championship in the last three pandemoniums in a row. After scratch, the last four pandemoniums in a row. Now I think about pandemonium six, seven, eight, and nine. Maintain on that underground championship after losing the story of via the swap occasion, but tonight, what well, rules are you gonna play in this Titan Championship contest? And here they come. Two men have been on a war to ensure that no titles, no championship goal falls in the hands of the full coalition. We're gonna go back on a self episode 19 of a of assault. We're supposed to have a Titan Championship match between the, the current championship at the, at the time, the Mythbusters to face the ground great and this sense of violence that didn't happen. Now approaching the ring from Houston, Texas, he is the chosen one, Mitch Larson. From Battleground, Washington, he is the world's greatest warrior, E. Cohen. Such a violence that took out the ground great and were unable to compete the head Tekken champion to out of nowhere the suicidal blindside of the Mythbusters and destroyed them in a matter of seconds and became the new Tekken champions. Of course, knowing the suicidal and how the full force operates, they will never, they'll never, you know, voluntarily or willfully put their own championship club on the line. So that's playing so to that game warfare and force made a stipulation to the game warfare that between the kill coalition and, and fires by nature. And if two fires by nature, one or even the kill coalition, whoever won that the eight man ownership elimination tag team match can make a, a match for playing the fate, any match they desire. And Mitch and Gilman may have made this match here tonight. And Mitch and Gilman for two on two of the suicides of the tag team championships. Earlier in the, in the month, the Mitch Washington was actually going to pay Spike to be this potential outside enforcer. And obviously, he turned that, uh, that, that proposition down. But we're going to talk to Gunter Wolf, and look at this! Before the sound of the bell, he going and all saw already going at it. I don't think the bell can sound in the referee. The referee Ben Smith's been yet he's been reinstated in officiating this championship match. Now he's no longer on probation. He can officiate championship matches now. Of course, of course the Fires Bench are one and they decide to make this match here. And you're gonna forget that heinous attack. You believe it was Sombriado behind the wheel of that car that ran over Gunter Wolf. And to follow up, the suicides were there to give Gunter Wolf the boots and just mug mug the hell out of them. Perhaps the worst beatdown in all of wrestling history. I mean, he's got to see it, folks. It was just, it was just brutal. All-Star here that Arabian headbutt dropping down the old, you know, that metallic skull, or titanium, whatever it's made out of. 
right on the Egoman. Egoman throttling enemy territory here. Oh, goes for a big splash with counter. And Egoman gets out of dodge there. Running away from Death Rob. Gotta assume he probably tried to grab him. Now Mitch has gotten tagged in here. That's all thrown into the corner. Mitch with his left and right. He's got these hammer fists. And he springs off the ropes, runs away. Oh my goodness, that boot to the face. And somehow that kick had no effect on Death Rock. Mitch still continuing the attack on All Star Batman. This crucifix pin from behind. Trying to get his metro as early as possible. Your mom man will be a good, good idea. Now look at somebody I'll get on the apron. Oh, okay. I think we have a pretty good idea what type of role somebody somebody else is going to be playing in this match. Which is just absolutely disgusting, folks. And the cool question boasts about how powerful and great they are. I just want to see them win a match cleanly. That's all I want to see. Shot from behind. Think Goldman wants to tag. Oh wait a minute, no, he doesn't. But he does want to hook All Star in his grasp and allow Mitch to just get that slap off. All Star falls to his knees. Uh, look at Mitch here. With his power driver. There is that same power driver that defeats Sombriella Gang Warfare and allowing Fires by Nature to get the win. And. For whatever reason, Mitch did not go for the pin. I guess he's sitting for something huge. He tags in Goldman. Oh, look at this. That cutter. Oh, look at this. He goes up top. That Swanton Bomb. He's going with the cover here. This could be all here, but Death Bomb jumps underneath the ropes. He's going totally neglecting to take his eye off and put his eye on Death Rob and the referee. Distraction at Sumbriato and Death Rob. Didn't even go for a one. I talked to Mitch Watterson earlier today. He told me that double team maneuver that he and Goman does is referred to as the as the yin and yang effect. It's pretty effective, but well, that's what maybe I don't know. And then Goman is good as is Luthes pressing his punches on Altsar. Vintage Goman, a, a barroom fighter that slash mixed martial artist at its very best. All-Star is getting worked on this entire matchup here. He desperately needs to get a tag off the you know, Death Rob. Death Rob just keeps you know, pacing back and forth on the apron. He wants in desperately. All-Star not having. He wants to do it alone as he displaying the straight up power bomb. But referee distracted by Mitch Wallace. And All-Star's got the feet on the ropes. Thank goodness as the ref can't see it. And Death Rob trying to get the referee's attention. And he does. By that time, Goman kicked out. Good thing Mitch saw that coming. If the referee saw that, that could have been it for sure for fighters by nature. Oh, look at this. Death Rob won the ropes and Goman, his own momentum threw him outside the ring. And Mitch Walsh had a springboard splash on the All-Star. Barely connected, but still it's quite effective. It's Death Rob in the ring illegally here, folks. Kick to the gun now, dragging Egoman for All-Star in the middle of the ring in prime position for All-Star again to get free on the ropes and the referee again somehow doesn't see it. So Mitch had to come in and break it up. Uh, also a Badman, look at this. And of course, if also a Badman putting his head to good use with that headbutt to Egoman. And also a Badman, bar none, has like the hardest head in all professional wrestling in his head. It's one of the greatest weapon in his arsenal, even more than his hands and feet. And look at this, throwing Death Rob at Eddie Goldman like a like a like a, like a cruise missile, you can say. Also with that nice assist, as Death Rob has his Boston Crab in. Mitch trying to break it up, but he's too occupied with also a referee checking on Eddie Goldman to see if he's gonna tap, and so far it doesn't. Mitch gets that cheap shot and at Death Rob. Oh, look at that. He's going for no apparent reason. Going outside and taking out Sombriato. Goman with all the momentum here. Dragging this. Death Rob by the hair in the middle of the ring. And again with those punch combination. And again, oh, sailing the end here. Oh, but right before he can finish Death Rob off, Ulsar, smart enough to grab E. Goman. He just caught, saved himself the match there. Damn right, Lou Steven. Don't eat gummy. He would have done absolutely, absolutely huge. 
right turn. Death Robin in a perfect position. How we're going for a final snake bite, maybe. Looks like Mitch Watson back in the back in the action here. Many, many more action. It's definitely Mitch Watson, who is a, a leader of the, of the Bounty Hunt organization action squad with the likes of Rodney, Skyler, Fair. The list goes on. Now, but now he's putting his Bounty Hunt a good use on a team of the Goldman to, to thwart the attempts of the crew cool to take over the UWA. As Reggie Von Kuhn said. And he's taken over the UWA any means necessary. With the likes of Som Sombriado and the Suicels that could be possible if not for Mitchell and Gomez standing in her way. And Mitch Waters is going on the attack on Death Rob here. Death Rob turns around Mitch. And Mitch falls up that DDT. 